Hi, I'm Joe, and pinch hitting for James Burns is Jim Silva, or as my son likes to call him, Jimmy Knuckles. Right on. Uh, these are our news and notes for week seven. Yeah, it's going by quickly. It is. Hey, uh, one of our big games this week is Modesto at Grigori, mm -hmm. and Modesto was undefeated in the MMC. Grigori uh, has one loss. A Modesto win, and Modesto's looking pretty. They've still got work ahead of them. Right. A Grigori win, and this thing's wide open. Well, it's already wide open, and it has been all season. But True. It, a Grigori win throws everything out the window, and it's like just starting over. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but I think I think Downey and Bayer will be rooting hard for Grigori this week because that drops Modesto back into that one-loss pack. Right. That, uh, well, and especially Downey because they already have a loss to Modesto. Yeah, absolutely. So they're rooting really hard for Grigori. And Grigori is, you know, desperate to win this game, I think, to, to have any chance at, at winning the MMC. Absolutely. They get that second loss, and they're probably yeah. out of the league title picture. Uh, hey, you've seen both of these teams play. What do you think? Who do you like? Uh, well, I think if Grigori comes out with some fire this week, um, I saw him play Bayer, and they were really lackluster in the first half. But if they come out playing fast, playing hard early, I think they're going to make a, a good game. I think Modesto is probably the favorite. But, uh, you know, Grigori's the, the preseason pick by the coaches to win this league. So I think it's really a toss-up. Grigori runs the ball an awful lot, has fumbled only one time this year. Interesting. Yeah. Hey, and some other MMC news uh, on the injury front. Uh, Davis quarterback, DJ Cinco, will be a game-time decision. That's big because Davis is taking on Johansson. Johansson look, looking to snap 26-game losing streak. Yeah. So got to be kind of rooting for the Vikings yeah. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice to yeah. see them get that monkey off, off the back. Yeah. Sure. Uh, also, Enox, their season went from, from bad to worse Friday night. Uh, of course, they lost to Bayer. And just a slew of injuries, including your guy, That's right. Eddie Alderson. Yeah. You kind of discovered Eddie Alderson for I us did. last year, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him play his first game as a junior, first varsity game. And he's a fun player to watch, as we all found out last season and then early this season. But, uh, you know, it's too bad. Tough senior season for, yeah. for Eddie and um, well, wish him well in his recovery. Yeah, he, he left uh, Friday's game with what I thought was a rolled ankle. Turns out it's fractured in two places. Yeah, it's too bad. So... Looks like his varsity career yeah. is over. Uh, hey, and another, uh, focusing on another uh, MMC speedster, Tyran Daniels had a big night Friday. Yeah, Tyran's an a, a athletic kid, um, good player, all-around player, and he had an all-around good game on Friday night. He had 100 yards rushing, yeah. 100 yards receiving, and 100 yards in the but, return game. But that's not all. But that's not all. He was also voted the homecoming king for Downey. So congratulations to Tyron. Yeah, absolutely. I think when I grow up, I want to be Tyron Daniel. Me too. Yeah, that kid's, that kid's got it going on. <laughs> hey, another kid who had it going on Friday night, Adam Herrera. We kind of forgot to mention him in our post-game report right. Friday night. Uh, but he had a big night. 319 yards rushing on just 14 carries. That's yeah. 23 yards of pop. He also completed five passes for 120 yards. 24 yards a pop, scored, uh, passed, uh, rushed for three TDs, passed for two others. What doesn't he do? That's a good night for a quarterback. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's a good night for anybody. Yeah. Uh, 850 yards rushing, 845 rushing, 850 passing. He's well on his way to being a 1,500, 1,500 guy, yeah. which, is, uh, which is rare. And, hey, you know, another big game we've got this, uh, this Friday night is Gustine at Rip and Christian, a big Southern League matchup. Yeah, and like the Modesto Gregory game, this this you know RC can pull off an upset of Gustine. It throws the Southern Lane into another. Well, or Stimbo already has a win over RC. Right. A Gustine win over RC, and it probably sets up that that big clash at the end of the season. The game you want, right? Uh, I'm, like not gonna lie. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'd like to see Gustine and Oristimba right. nine and zero when they play for the Chief. Although. Uh, I think our governor think has deemed that. Uh, <laughs> I think our governor has deemed that politically incorrect. All of a sudden, but um, yeah, uh, RC really needs us to get in, to, to stay in the title hunt. Right. Yeah, I mean they're going to make the playoffs, you know. But and they have, we're talking Southern League title here. And they have a great group of linebackers, right? Absolutely, and they're going to get healthy. They get three linebackers back right. this week, including Sackmaster Will Kemp's. So that's really good news 
for our seat. And, uh, and that's just one of our big games. We've got Gustine RC, Houston, uh, Houston, Houston at okay. MC, uh, Patterson at Los Banas, and Adam Herrera, uh, Merced at Pittman, and of course our biggest game of the week, Central Manteca. You got it. That's the big one. So, um, should be fun. Fun weekend. If I was a, a high school football fan, I'd be hard to pick which just, game to go you see. You just throw a dart at the schedule, right. and there yeah. you go. So that's it for our news and notes this week. Be sure to check us out on mobb.com for all the results of these great games, and we'll see you here next week.